My husband told me he wanted to have a lot of kids, and now that he's planted his seed, he says he's not into pregnant women and will be back after I'm done. Years before I met my current husband, I was in such a toxic, abusive relationship that it almost ended my life. I spent years in therapy, trying to better myself, trying to figure out just why I was tolerable with that type of love. I stayed single for years, and once I started dating, I made sure to keep an eye out for all the red flags. Hell, I even took things slowly when there was nothing but green flags. Thanks to my ex, I was all too familiar with the suspect behavior. I ended up meeting my current husband at a work event, and things just fell into place. I opened up and explained my past trauma, and let him know that if we were going to date, it would require a slow pace and patience. I won't say that he was perfect, but he was always kind, compassionate, and caring. We dated for about five years, were engaged for one, and have been married for a little over three years now. We recently bought our second home together, and we both got promotions at work, so we sat down and talked about kids. He wanted a big family, and I only wanted one or two. We agreed on two, and we started trying. It didn't take long, and here I am six months pregnant, still working, with swollen ankles and a back that won't stop aching, but other than that, I've been very happy and thought I had a supportive husband. Three weeks ago, I found out that he was having an emotional affair, and honestly, probably a physical one too. When confronted with the evidence, he admitted to not being attracted to me while pregnant. What the hell do you mean by that? I haven't gained unnecessary weight, I still take care of myself, even with the morning sickness that hasn't gone away. He wasn't sorry about it at all, and he told me that I was being overdramatic when I cried. He is currently staying with his family until he can find a home to rent. He doesn't want to get a divorce, and in fact, he's saying that after the pregnancy is over, we can go to therapy and fix things, but I don't want to. I cannot physically look this man in the eye anymore without feeling disgust. I have a text from him saying that he's my only option because no man wants to date a single mom. I'll be talking to a lawyer and figuring out how to divorce him. Sorry, I just wanted to vent into the void today. Edit. I was told I'm not allowed to change the locks due to it being his home as well, and he came over last night knowing there wasn't anything I could do to prevent it. Thankfully, he only grabbed some personal belongings, threatened to take the dogs, and let me know he emptied our shared bank account. Part of me rolled my eyes and figured he wasn't dumb enough to do that, and the other part made me make a mental note to check it once he left. Sure enough, our account has maybe five left in it. I'll be calling the bank about the transfer and speaking to an attorney later this afternoon. Thankfully, my dad taught me not to fully mix finances, so my savings wasn't capable of being touched and while it's not a lot, it's enough to pay for the fees over the next few weeks. I don't have any family left, so I think he's doing a power play to make me feel like I'm alone and need him, when in reality, it's lit a fire in me that I don't want or need such a garbage person in my life. Update 1 Hey everyone, I just wanted to give a small update on my situation from 5 days ago. My soon-to-be ex showed up the day before yesterday, completely drunk, begging to talk. His anger increased when I would just ignore him and walk away. It kept escalating, so I went to grab my bag and walk down the road to a neighbor's home so I wouldn't be alone. He grabbed my arm to stop me, and when I yanked it away, he slapped me, almost a backhanded open slap. The cops were called, and I didn't have a mark on my face, so it was my word versus his. They escorted him off the property, and I'm only now assuming he's back with his parents. He did throw a fit about the dogs and does have proof of ownership, so I'm guessing he'll be able to take them. I went to leave to go for a drive to clear my head after everything and realized three of my four tires were flat. I know it was him, but I don't have truth. Insurance won't cover it, so I'm going to a tire shop on Friday morning. As for the attorney, I've had my consultation, and I'm waiting for my check to come in for my actual appointment and getting the ball moving on this. There's not much family left, and a few close friends are kept in the loop, but I don't want to burden them or treat them like unpaid therapists, so I think that's why I found myself back here on Reddit. The baby and pregnancy are okay, I've actually lost weight, and the doctor has told me to avoid stressful situations and to take things easy. I'll be calling to see if I can change the locks on the home now, and if not, I'm going to start looking for new places to stay. Update 2, I'm back and some things have happened in these last four days. I ended up changing my locks, and if he was going to get the law involved, then I was just going to use pregnancy brain and say I forgot to give him a spare set, but that didn't matter because he broke in late last night. I was able to contact the police before I confronted him, but due to our location, I knew it would take a bit for them to arrive. I tried walking by him to leave the house, but every time I did, he'd shove me. Once, it was hard enough to make me stumble and fall backward. The eerie part is he never once yelled, but he threw things and said the most vile things. He hated me, said I poop off myself, how useless I was, etc., yet never once raised his voice. I'm not saying that in a good way, I wish he would have yelled. It was a fight or flight instinct, and I found out mine was to freeze, and I hate that for myself. He was arrested, and his mother already bailed him out. I'm staying at a hotel thanks to a work advance and looking into some apartments. I won't be stepping foot into that home we shared until my best friend is here, and even then it will be with the police accompanying us. Nobody can figure out what made him change almost overnight. The only thing I'm guessing is a psychotic break, but I'm not a therapist or doctor. Besides some ugly bruises and stitches myself, the baby and I are fine. My lawyer feels like this is enough to get a protection order for myself, which will include the pregnancy and baby. For now, I'm safe and can sleep well for the first time in weeks. I have the dogs, 
and nobody besides one close person and the police is aware of where I am. Next time I see him will be at court. Update 3. Police met me at my home to gather some personal belongings and pretty much anything and everything else I could grab. Thanks to the user who recommended calling the non-emergency number, it was smooth sailing. He wasn't home, so I didn't have a fear of him showing up, and both officers were very kind. What I walked into, on the other hand, was not very fun. This man looked like he went on a bender, bleach on clothes, food everywhere, personal belongings just destroyed, especially the nursery. I was able to salvage a lot of the bigger items and packed what I could, and they're now in a storage unit until I move into my new place. I took pictures, and as aggravating as it was, especially with the one step forward, two steps back, I'm hopeful that they'll just be another thing used against him to prevent custody. As far as him, he has no way of contacting me other than through an attorney or email, and it's been quiet on both ends. His parents have not reached out, I don't even know what I'd say to them if they tried, so no loss there. His girlfriend, yes, girlfriend, as I found out, has been trying to contact me via friends to let me know she's pregnant. I'm unsure if that's true or not, but that, at the very least, confirms the affair and how well he kept things hidden. Anyway, I'll leave it at that. Thank you all for listening and checking up on me. I'm safe, I'm good, and the only thing kicking me around is the pregnancy, and I'll make sure to make a post in a few months letting you all know she's here and that we made it.